Hi, I'm Michael Nadlin from Market Lead, and today's video is about conversion rate optimization impact report. The reason why I'm doing this video today is because conversion rate is the biggest issue with most paid out accounts. And the reason why that is, is because most businesses spend all their money and focus on advertising, but very minimal time, effort, or money on their landing pages or websites. So this impact report was really built to really show the value of landing pages to existing clients because I wanted to show that by increasing the conversion rate by just 1% increments, what the results could be as well. So this calculator here is a really, really simple calculator, but it does show the increase of performance when these changes are made. There are only two inputs that are needed for this, budget and conversion rate, because based on those, all the other metrics can be broken down. So at the moment, we can just put in a $5,000 budget, Based on a $5,000 budget, you'd get about a thousand clicks, just going with the average of a $5 cost per click. Now this can be changed and edited, but this was just purely for example. And the next thing is really understanding what the current conversion rate is and what we can do to improve it. The conversion rate will put in the current conversion rate for the client. Now this client was operating at a 2% conversion rate. And then based on these numbers with the 2% conversion rate, we'd be getting a thousand clicks, 20 conversions at a $250 cost per lead. And those were the numbers that were matching up with what we're seeing in Google ads and Facebook ads as well. But this is the main area where we want to start understanding now the improvement on conversion rate if we used a landing page or if we just did some conversion rate optimization on the website. So we can see the one, two, three, four, and 5% increases. And by increasing by 1%, the conversion rate would go to three. By 2%, up to four by three percent up to five and that's usually the area i like to uh, focus on with the client by four percent up to six percent and then by five percent is seven percent but we can see the significant difference by 250 dollars cost per lead with one percent increments from the conversion rate increasing from 250 to 166 to 125 to 100 to 83 to 71. A lot of people talk about huge increases to conversion rate that put in 10%, for example, but I like to be really conservative with my numbers. And by being conservative with a 5% increase, so from two to seven, which is quite conservative, you can hit a $71 cost per lead, which is amazing, especially when the cost per lead then would be down by 71%. Now, if your conversion rate is higher and set like 5%, the difference is up to only 50% based on a 5%, but that is still amazing. So. Understanding the decrease in cost per lead is extremely significant, but based on my last video, which you might've seen based on the viability calculator, the increase in, in conversion is probably the most important part. So most businesses will save money with a higher conversion rate, but the most important thing is what is the opportunity cost of a low conversion rate? And usually the opportunity cost is less leads, which we can see that there is an increasing scale of leads when you increase the conversion rate and then increasing sales that come with that as well. So it's really important to understand that whilst you will be getting a decrease in cost per lead, the more important part is you'll be getting an increase in lead volume as well. And that's the most important part for a lot of businesses. If you're operating with a $5,000 or a $10,000 budget, there is no way that those numbers are incorrect because you can understand that if it's a $100,000 budget or $500,000 budget, the numbers won't stack up because there is a diminishing return. But when the budget is still so low and the conversion rate is higher, those numbers are realistic. So for example, for this client, if we did a $10,000 budget, we could see that the leads would go up from 40 to 140, just with a 5% increase in conversion rate as well. And these numbers are extremely realistic. So the reason why I'm doing this and the reason why we started offering landing pages at Market Lead is because these numbers didn't lie to us and we keep seeing the same improvement with our landing pages for our clients. Most of our clients see a 15% increase in conversion rate, usually going from about 1% to about 15% or about 2% to 15%. And the reason why we started offering it and I got an enterprise designer and a landing page specialist in my team was to ensure that the clients got the best results. So I don't mess around with these numbers. I use these numbers all the time with clients to really show the picture and to actually give an accurate understanding of what is achievable in the Google ads or the Facebook ads account with conversion rate optimization 
and landing pages as well. So I'll leave that video there. If you've got any questions or queries, let me know. If you do need a landing page or increase your conversion rate optimization, reach out to us. This is an exclusive service that we're offering now that does get outstanding results. And the reason why it gets outstanding results is because we run the paid ads at an enterprise level, at a very advanced level. And by integrating high converting landing pages to it, we just get outstanding results for literally every single client we work with. So I'll leave it there. Any questions, let me know. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share.